In this video, I'm gonna walk you through how to use the quick negative matcher within PPCS. And what this tool allows you to do is review and make some decisions for search terms with suboptimal performance based on your settings. Now the default settings for quick negative matcher is search terms exceeding 100% ACOS or that have two clicks with no sales. You can configure those settings by clicking the gear and updating max cost that you've realized without any sales. Again, max clicks without sales, which defaults to two. Max ACOS, which is set right now to 100%. And then recent days ignored. Now you have that functionality. It's not recommended that you would exceed, uh, let's say four days, but you can ignore a um, certain period of time or number of days and add those settings as well. Once you've done that, go ahead and click save. And that is then applied and effectively serves as a filter for the search terms that are reviewable here in your quick negative matcher. So if I scroll down, a few things to keep in mind. The first column is going to be search terms. We have the source keyword. This is a, in this case, a uh, phrase match under this campaign, under this ad group. We have the uh, date stamp for the last click. If we hover over the graph, we get a sense of uh, clicks and click in sales um, over time. And then we have the ability to uh, make st some decisions or complete some actions. This is where the negative matching comes into play. We can negative exact match that search term. We can negative phrase match that search term. And of course you have the ability to um, snooze uh, for one week based on the suggestion that's provided or ignore it altogether. Now, the reason why this search term is available in our quick negative matcher is this reason here. For each and every search term, you'll uh, have the uh, reason as to why it's available. So it's reached the maximum of our two clicks set by our uh, settings with zero sales. And that's reflected here in the data where we see uh, over $22 in spend, 23 clicks with no sales and effectively an infinite ACOS. Now, if you want to dive a little bit further into the data, just simply click show data and it's going to add some additional columns of data for you to be able to review, whether it's conversions, impressions, um, cost per click, and so on. So you can really dive into the data as needed. I'm going to go ahead and click back to show reason and having that column added back in. You can narrow the scope of the date ranges to uh, review your search terms. Right now I've got it set to lifetime. You can look at a 30 day, 60 day, or 90 day uh, snapshot. So you can narrow or broaden um, the scope based on that date range, as well as filtering the data. If you wanna take a look at um, beyond just uh, sorting, if you wanna filter by uh, specific campaigns, specific match types, and so on, you can apply filters and apply multiple filters as needed. And there's one other important piece of functionality to keep in mind here as well. And this is where quick negative matcher is such a, uh, can be such a quick process. Based on the settings that you've dictated, the search terms that you're able to review, you can bulk apply the uh, suggestions on each page. This makes this process very quick and very uh, seamless. And it really reinforces the importance of your settings really being uh, dialed in. Because if I click bulk apply, all the negative exact uh, suggestions that are available and viewable on Quick Negative Matcher are then applied and pushed to Seller Central. It makes this process very quick, very seamless, and very easy to do. Now, if I click that and I'd like to undo those changes, simply click the uh, the arrow here to undo all the applied uh, suggestions. If you made that an error or you want to reconsider, uh, just as quick and easy as that. You'll also notice the ability to view just auto campaigns. So if you're really dialing in your negative exact match um, based on uh, auto campaign, campaign performance, you can select and review in the same way your search terms, the uh, source keyword again from auto campaigns, the campaigns and ad groups that these originate from, the date stamp for the last click, and uh, that graphed performance data as well. And in the same way, reviewing, analyzing based on the reason that's provided for why the search term is presented, diving into the uh, data as needed, and narrowing or broadening the scope of the uh, date ranges in which you're reviewing this data. But for most sellers, it's going to be very easy 
um, using the default settings to review and feel comfortable and confident with negative exact matching almost all of the search terms that are available in your PPCS account. If you get creative with your settings, keep that in mind as to what you're reviewing, what decisions you're making, but the quick negative matcher is really meant to cut that waste and do so uh, very quickly. Now, next under quick negative matcher, we also have exact keyword pauser. Now this is a little bit different. Instead of uh, negative matching, we effectively pause keywords quite different because um, when you negative match, there is no chance of seeing that keyword again. Variations of and using pausing is going to be much different than that, uh, that more specific negative match. But the functionality is very similar here, uh, both in the interface and the decisions that we can make. Because if I scroll down, you'll see first column being the exact match uh, keyword, the campaign in the ad group, and then the actions that we can take. We have the ability to pause uh, this keyword for the reason that's stated here, that it's reached its maximum ACOS of 100%. And that's confirmed as much here when taking a look at uh, the lifetime uh, ACOS. I'm going to go ahead and let me just go ahead and sort by uh, lifetime ACOS when reviewing some of these uh, some of these search terms. But the reason with which these uh, these search terms are provided for us is, again, driven by our settings. That's why that's uh, so important to make sure that those are dialed in or at minimum, leveraging the default settings to review and analyze performance and make some uh, make some decisions from there. So we have the reason visibility. Let's go ahead and click on show data to dive a little bit more into the uh, performance of some of these keywords. Again, sorted by uh, lifetime ACOS. So these are the ones that we're spending a quite a bit to uh, to realize some performance on, but they are effectively underperforming. If we'd like, again, we can pause that keyword. We can ignore. Um, or snooze that suggestion or ignore it all together. When clicking bulk apply, same functionality as the quick negative matcher. It's just simply pausing that keyword for, uh, for us in a bulk fashion. Again, same ability to filter, narrow down the scope of the uh, results and the terms and keywords that we review uh, in the exact keyword pauser view. Then we have all negative keywords. This is a great way to check and be able to review as a running log of changes that you've made for uh, negative matching or uh, pausing uh, keywords. So again, you can review the negative keyword, the match type, the campaign in the ad group, and then a date stamp of when it was added. And if you would like, you can archive uh, these within Seller Central. And feel free to narrow this down based on filters, whether it's campaigns, match types, if you want to look at purely broad, phrase, uh, and so on, you're able to easily do that. And if you want to exclude isolation keywords, uh, you can use this toggle to review and narrow just, uh, just keywords that you have uh, used for uh, the purpose of keyword isolation. The last two items, we've got the uh, suggestions that we have snoozed. So you have visibility into those. I've got none here, but if you uh, completed that step or added that as an action based on the suggestions, that would be viewable here. And in the same way, those that we have uh, altogether ignored uh, will be viewable. And as is the case, I have not um, snoozed or ignored any suggestions. But this is a high level view of how you can use quick negative matcher cut waste with your PPC efforts and do so in a very quick manner. You can use that bulk apply uh, based on dialed in settings to make this a very efficient, effective process, save money and, and really obtain a higher ROI with your PPC efforts.